Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Sejanus' his fall and we get to hear from Sejanus today in Act 1, Scene 2. We saw him briefly in Act 1, Scene 1 when he came in and Satrius was like, you need to meet this guy, uh, Eudemus, who's the physician to Livia, who is Drusus' wife, Drusus being the emperor's son. He's like, you got to meet this guy. He has things to talk to you about. And Sejanus is like, all right, fine, because Eudemus was willing to pay an appropriate fee for said meeting. And this little interaction was viewed from afar by Sabinus and Silius and Aruntius and that whole crew. And they are now afraid that Sejanus has his eye on becoming the emperor and they don't want that to happen. So we've got the two different factions. We have Sejanus and his crew. We have Sabinus and Silius and Aruntius and their crew, and the two don't see eye to eye. So that's gonna that's gonna be fun a little later on. But Act One, Scene Two, we are in the court and we're sort of waiting for Sejanus to enter. So we've just got Satrius and Eudemus on stage at the moment, and Satrius is giving him like a little bit of a pep talk, saying you know like you, this is the best way to interact with him and blah blah blah. And then Sejanus enters, and Satrius introduces Sejanus to Eudemus and then he leaves shortly after. So now it's just Sejanus and Eudemus. And Sejanus is like, you're the physician to Livia, like a royal lady, yeah? And Eudemus is like, yeah, I am. And Sejanus is like, well, who else are you the physician to? So Eudemus names a few others. And Sejanus is like, so you know like everything about these people. They all like confide in you, right? And Eudemus is like, well, yeah, I wouldn't be able to treat them unless I knew what was wrong with them. And Sejanus is like, so who's the most pleasant? And Eudemus is like, doctor, patient, confidentiality, I, I really shouldn't say. So Sejanus says, why, sir, I do not ask you of their urines, whose smells most violet, or whose siege is best, or who makes hardest faces on her stool. Which lady sleeps with her own face a nights? Which puts her teeth off with her clothes in court? Or which her hair? Which her complexion? And in which box she puts it? These were questions that might, perhaps, have put your gravity to some defensive blush. But I inquired, which was the wittiest? merriest, wantonest, harmless interrogatories, but conceits. Methinks Augusta should be most perverse and froward in her fit. So what Sejanus is saying, like, whoa, 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 I'm not asking for any confidential information. I don't care about their bowel movements or any other, like, personal medical information. I'm just asking, like, who's the smartest? Who's the funniest? Who's the wittiest? Who's the, like, most fun to work with? He's like, I'm just asking simple, harmless questions about these women. And then to, like, start the ball rolling, he's like, Augusta's probably, like, a little bit perverse, right? And uh, Eudemus agrees. He's like, yeah, yeah, they, that's, that's the right call. And so Janus is like, Mutilia is probably the most jocund, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah. So, so Janus is like, see, these are just like harmless little questions. Why wouldn't you want to tell me these things? Why do you have to like keep all this stuff a secret? Um, and Eudemus is like, well, you know, I didn't want to, I don't want to offend you. And like, specifically, I don't want to offend you, but like, I really shouldn't, say too much about people. And so Janus starts asking about Livia, like, what can you tell me about Livia? What can you tell me about Livia? And Eudemus is like really hesitant to say anything, but so Janus is like, oh, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. You can trust me. And um, he continues on saying like, you know, if, if you knew something that was like important for Livia to know, like if you knew that I was in love with Livia, wouldn't it be to her benefit for you to tell her about that sort of thing and Eudemus is like yeah I, I guess that that kind of agrees that, like that makes some sense that if if I knew something important that wasn't harmful to anybody like yeah I could I could tell them so Sejanus is like great go woo Livia for me and Eudemus is like yeah okay okay fine I can set up a meeting between the two of you in my gardens tomorrow and so Janus is gonna have a monologue response to that that we will hear tomorrow so I'll see you then Mwah.